the Darren Field Days here with Glenn Reithmuller. Glenn, would you like to introduce yourself? No problem, Ben. I'm Glenn Reithmuller, the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development within the Agriculture and Food Division. And I'm here today to talk about harvesting short crops. So it's going to be a pretty tight year in some areas in Australia and we need to have a bit of a chat about making sure we maximise the amount of material we can get in the front. When, um, obviously, a couple of things we need to look at. Firstly, the knife is, uh, needs to be set correctly. That's right. Yep. If we look at, look down here at the knife, the knife section should be really sharp. When you rub your finger along there, it should be prickly. So that, that, that caught my finger. That's nice and prickly. That's a good knife section. If the knife section doesn't catch your finger like that, it's best to replace because in a short crop, you need to cut it neatly. It can be torn off with a, tall, a taller crop, but with a short crop, it's got to be cut neatly. And also, it's got to be resting on the bottom of that ledger plate down there. It's got to be cut like a pair of scissors onto that base ledger plate. And that ledger plate's going to be sharp as well. Some of the uh, worn fronts, that can be a little bit rounded. And it's best then to touch it up with an um, uh, angle grinder. Okay, aside from uh, making sure the knife is, is uh, ready to go, um, what about maximising the amount of material we're getting in the front there, Glenn? How do we uh, get around those light crops? Well, one of the problems with these sort of conventional fronts is the material will be cut okay, but then it tends to sit just here behind the knife and then may fall forward and out onto the ground. So we're so wanting to push that back we in. We want to get that back in. Now, these nice pickup reels are good for their purpose, which is actually picking up a down crop. But for just sweeping in a crop, they generally are a little bit too thin. There's only a finger every sort of so far, and it's just not enough to grab those short heads in. Sure. So what we found in the past that worked well, and it's not my idea, it came from uh, some farmers in the eastern states that was advertised by GRDC's ground cover. We're all about sharing information. I, I yep. just copied that idea and yep. went to a sign writer and found some black core flute, yep. which is like a black cardboard. How thick is that? And that's green? five mil, five mil thick. And you've cut these sheets to be as efficient as possible that's uh, right, in terms yeah. of the sheet comes in that's at a set right. size. The sheet comes generally, this is 1.2 wide and yep. uh, 2.44 long. Okay. I just got it cut into nine pieces for a 36 foot front, but it could have a bit longer. Some of these reels are a little bit longer here. Yes. The main thing is to get a piece that's long enough to just sweep, just come down and sweep over the knife section. Yes. So it just sweeps anything away from there. And one per turn of the reel. So one only needs to be one piece per turn, so as it builds up, then one comes down and sweeps and it in. Sweeps it in. Yep. And we were talking earlier about just where on that bat it's positioned and, and we were saying that rather than do it in a spiral arrangement you skip one and go to the next uh, that's, that's section. That's right, we time. found that uh, our driver in the past when he uh, had these on when we first experimented with heavy matting which is not a good thing in case it goes through the header, Sure. Uh, that your eye tends to follow it so if the next piece was in sequence from that one to here your eye tends to follow it and you get you could end up with a headache watching these things spiral on along. So yep. Harvesting's hypnotising <laughs> enough as it <laughs> is. Right. So, so skip it across and... So you um, skip it one more, so you go every second one round. So to break it up, just so that it's a random pattern. Sure. Sure. So Glenn, how do we attach the uh, core flute then to the reel? Okay, so the first thing you do, we've got to mark it. And I find the best thing to mark black core flute is a white paint pen. You buy these at your local uh, uh, news agency. Yep. It's a paint pen, not a marker. Yep. The paint pen puts a nice little dot on the... Uh, put a dot, say, where you've got to mark it. Gives you a lead in of where to punch. Now, punching the hole is better than drilling it. Yes, drilling it's this plastic tends to uh, tear. tear. Yeah. Yep. Whereas punching it is nice and neat. Yep. And that's uh, an eight mil hole that you punch. That's there. an eight mil punched yep. hole. And then we simply zip tie these on. So you, with a short say, a zip tie, a 4.8 mil, mil wide, just simply put it through and pull him up and then cut off the excess. And we also need one over the top. The one over the top is to stop this coming down. So you just need one over the top as well. Snort off. And there we have it. Um, pretty simple solution. Um, obviously works quite well. And yep. um, you know, in uh, light crop situations, which we're going to have in some parts of the country this year, um, thanks very much, Glenn, for giving us some tips no on uh, getting those all important grains in the header.